Uh, Don Lift is more just like the, the music personality aspect of who Lawrence Matthews is. It kind of is transitioning to just being this all-encompassing person. But uh, Don Lift is definitely like the more music side of it. Um, in general, I guess like just wanting to create, you know, um, cause I've always drawn since I was younger. Um, always was making stuff, trying to like, you know, build little things and stuff. I think that just branches out to when you get older, you learn all these other things that you can make. You can make music, you can, you know, play instruments, you can you can paint, you can do sculpture, you can do all these different things. So it kind of branches out into like everything. And that's kind of where I'm at now is like where I can, I shoot photos, I shoot video, I do music, you know, I make beats, I paint, I do sculpture, you know, I do visual things like, like I try to, Create in any way possible. Um. Skin is healing your lungs bad, but you do anything, just go back. Then we're gonna chill, then orange peels control how you feel. It's so real when it's so chill. You got a second chance, you could go home. Escape it all, it's just irrelevant. Lyrical genius, they pin me ass, cause my stories make you dream in your past. All the fights you ever struggle through, praying the world believing you. Cause you know you something special. Got talent on levels. They think you rolling with devils. You only speak that divine, but deep that dark in your mind. You know that evil can rise. It's so On the December LP, uh, Volume 1, it started it's more than two years from now. Uh, but like two and a half years ago, I was trying to find sounds that made me feel like how I felt when I was young. And then I told stories about, you know, these addictions or these um, depressing situations or um, different issues I was having in my modern, you know, life over the last maybe four years over these sounds. So those are the stories that you hear, you know, throughout that record. But it's all visually put together um, with, you know, old, photos, old VHS footage from my childhood and stuff to give it a certain type of feeling. Um, a lot of the videos are shot and I'm making them look like old VHS tapes and, and different things like that because I'm trying to give it a feeling of something that's old, something that's not there anymore. Uh, yeah, pretty much. A lot of stuff that you're gonna see that comes out, that stuff is like a year old or whatever. Like the video I released, Look Out, is definitely like, it came out, I, we filmed it last April. And then I, I sat on the album for six months because I didn't want to put anything out that wasn't of quality. And sometimes you have to, to wait on music for a long time before you really get to hear it. Cause you'll go back and listen to albums that you thought were like the bomb when you were like, you know, in middle school. And then you listen to them now and you're like, ooh, that was like so terrible. So I didn't want to like avoid, like I wanted to avoid that. So like I sat on the album for a long time trying to make sure every song needed to be there. Every song was as powerful as it needed to be. And it had that lasting power. And about time I finished it, I knew that the songs had that power to them or whatever. I admit that, just live my life as I sit back Don't even know where my mind at Just pray one day I'll get back, just get See, back For the first time in a long time I'm okay with watching me decay And break down in your arms Painting and stuff um, Just like growing up in Memphis, Tennessee And being uh, exposed to a lot of civil rights, a lot of racism, a lot of racial divide, a lot of internal racial divide. It's like, I don't understand, you know, how like a black person could grow up here and not kind of be affected by that. I mean, I do understand, but me being able to be on both sides of the fence growing up, you know, in a white neighborhood, but then, you know, going to, to a school that may have had more black kids and then like just always being both sides. Like I was always somewhere else. If I was at the super black school or a school with like a lot of black students, I was listening to like John Mayer and stuff. And it was just like, I was always on both sides. So like race has always been something that's very interesting to me or the social concept of race. It's always been something super interesting to me, how we treat each other, how we view each other. and. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I, 
As far as creativity and overall artistry, ain't nobody around here. Nobody in the city, nobody in the state. I don't even know if anybody in this region that can do all of the things that I'm doing at this level that I'm at. I don't know many rappers who could be in museums and in galleries. We're in a gallery. I got a piece across the street that's in a museum or across the way that's in a museum. I don't know many of them that can do that. I don't know many of them that can be successful at that. Um, I don't know many artists, visual artists, who could put out albums as great as the December LP. And that's not arrogance, that's not cockiness. That's just, I know how hard I work. I know the things that I'm... Did I make it laying naked in a hotel vacant waiter trying to be complacent with the time is taken but I'm slowly losing it faith I'm always using it many call it foolish shit my back against the wall I slip but never fall I've always just been about being myself like I never tried to like I never been like oh I'm gonna wear different clothes or I'm gonna act different or whatever I just came up how I came up I wish you wish you knew about, about my dreams. Fix the mind before you can bestow the blessing. I don't know about my dreams.